As, uh, as chairman of the CPAC committee, which is the Colchester Planning Advisory Committee, uh, we're tasked to uh, take the secondary Colchester secondary official plan and put implementation into it. Uh, part of the process is we went out with an RFP just recently to come up with a, um, an architectural design landscape for the whole area for Colchester secondary official plan which in actual fact includes a number of different elements to it. Number one is the harbour which we are right now in the process of our divester with uh, Oceans and Fishery to uh, look at redeveloping this harbour. And number two is the area which extends up to on Jackson Park, that whole proxy seven acres has been uh, uh, accommodated and we're looking at a plan to put in a passive area, festivals and park area which also add to what we've already done is uh, one of the largest accessible pirate ships for kids plus a splash pad and pump house. In addition to that, we're adding on to the rest of the area in Colchester, which will include an old 1888 schoolhouse. Looking at um, uh, redeveloping that and redesigning it into what could possibly be a, um, a performing arts center, a uh, community center, in, in addition with some vista ways that the town has now, which would accommodate walkways and passive walkways to the lake for observation areas. So adding all this area, Together, we're looking at a, a major tourism attraction to accommodate the wineries, the emerging sector, which this area has approximately 17 wineries right now just within this region. In addition to that, there's some commercial opportunities that some developers have been looking at up on Conroe Road 50 just to the north here of uh, Jackson Park. Um, a developer has purchased the actual full area downtown area, I guess you'd call it, and looking out for some future developments. Um, on to the west of that is a property that's owned by uh, the town and that is going to be the potential site being proposed for the um, 1812 Peace Garden, which will be another monument site. So adding all these things together when this official, when the actual um, landscape design comes back, will allow us to come back to the public with a really thought out idea, a conceptual of the whole area in the secondary official plan, and then now we can bring it to the public to tweak it to some degree. I suspect this is a five to eight year plan, and what we'll need to do is look at phasing it in. Um, the first objectives, of course, are the design, landscape design, uh, the Colchester Park and the, um, the actual divester of the Colchester Harbour.